Well, hello everyone. This is Charles Alvarez again with Prestige Dito and Ceramic. And today we're gonna to be doing a ceramic coating on this RV6 kit airplane. So I'll go ahead and flip the camera over so we can take a look at it. So these airplanes are actually really cool because they're kit airplanes. So they're built at home. They're considered homemades. And funny story, I've actually known people who have bought these, put them in their garage, you know, pilots that had all the intention of building it themselves and kind of making a nice little project out of it. And then, you know, 10 years go by and they never get it built. But this one here um, is a 1998, I believe, is when it was built. And the owner just got it uh, not too long ago. Um, he flies back and forth from the north uh, down here to the south and and keeps it here. So we're um, at North County Airport in Palm Beach County, Florida. And so this one's gonna get uh, crystal serum. And before we do that, I pulled it out of the hangar. These light airplanes like this are really easy to, to pull. They don't weigh very much. So I was able to bring it out here and we're gonna give it a wash first, uh, decon decontamination wash. It's got a lot of bugs on it, you can see here. So we're gonna wanna give this one a real nice wash first and do a clay bar on it as well, just to remove, you know, anything that may be sitting on the paint, some of those stubborn bugs. Um, this is actually an original paint job on this, the owner was telling me, which is, which is very impressive because 98 to now, I mean, that's, you know 20 something years and it's original paint so obviously the first owner or the builder of the airplane must have kept it in a hangar and you know maybe not flown it a whole lot and had it waxed and maintained because it's in very decent shape so i'm going to go ahead and get started with the wash decon clay bar and then we'll push it back inside and start with the polish process. All right, we'll check back in in just a few. So just a quick tip about washing while I'm doing this part of the process. I like to first rinse the airplane and this goes for cars, airplanes, whatever. You know, first I like to do a, uh, just a water rinse. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna remove dust, dirt, grime anything that may be sitting on the paint all of that stuff that sits on there sand dirt dust it acts as little abrasives so if you were to just throw the soap on there and start going to town you're working all of that stuff into the paint creating more swirls creating more scratches so on and so forth so personally i like to use this little ryobi pressure washer it's an electric pressure washer. Um, for my experience, I have never found the need to use a gas powered pressure washer on a car or an airplane, just because we don't need 3000 PSI on paint. It's really not necessary. We're not trying to strip concrete or anything like that. And there's no knock to that either. I know guys like to use them just because it's, it's uh, more convenient to have uh, gas out when you're out in the field, especially if you're doing stuff where there may not be electricity things like that it's convenient but this little guy has never failed me it's in, more than enough for what i need to do on airplanes or even cars for that matter so i went ahead and rinsed it with uh, water first removing all of that and then we're going to go ahead and soap it up and start washing So when it comes to removing bugs, this is what I like to use. It's a bug sponge. This one here you can buy on AutoGeek and they're really, really nice. So you soak them in water, soapy water for a little while, let them get nice and moist. And then 
you attack the bugs. So let's see, some of this is actually paint chips, but let's find a nice bug area. So you just start working it on there with some soapy water. And it starts taking the bugs out. So these are always nice when you're dealing with heavy bugs, you need a little bit of extra help. All right, so I finished scrubbing down the airplane using the bug tar sponge remover. So the next step I'm gonna do now is clay rag. So these are really awesome. I bought this one on Auto Geek as well. I get a lot of my stuff from them. They're just really convenient. They're not too far, but no matter where you are, they ship, they're really fast at shipping. Um, and they have all the best products. So this is a speedy clay rag. So you basically soak it in the soap, get it nice and wet. And you also wanna have a soapy surface to start with. And you just work it over the surface of the paint and it's gonna pick up any uh, residue, paint overspray, bug marks. It's just gonna clean that paint um, and drag away any imperfections, any contaminants that are sitting on there. And it's gonna leave you a nice smooth surface. So you can always tell when a surface has been properly clayed is a lot of times beforehand, it'll feel uh, a little bit rough, a little abrasive. It could be overspray, it could be many things, road, uh, tar, stuff like that. And once you've passed the clay rag over it and worked it in there, you feel it and it's nice and smooth. So that means that surface has been uh, correctly clay ragged and decontaminated. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the whole surface and then we'll check back in in a few. All right, so we're back. I've finished washing, clay barring, uh, bug tar remover on the airplane. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the next step in the process, which is gonna be doing a polish on the airplane. And so let me turn the camera around so we can take a look. All right, so here's my polish setup. I like to use, I have a couple of different polishers, but this is one of my favorites. It's a Griot's Garage 21 throw. So the, what I like about it is, especially on airplanes, it has a big pad. So this is a 6.5 inch pad. And because it has a 21 inch throw, um, it covers a lot of area. And obviously when you're doing airplanes, this is, this is the smallest airplane I've done. I usually do bigger uh, TBMs and things like that. Um, you have a lot of surface area. So on a wing here, you have, you have a lot of area to cover. So if you have a bigger buffer that's gonna have a bigger throw, every pass you're actually covering a larger uh, area which helps me with time that way i can get these done in a timely manner um, you wouldn't want to use a little tiny buffer on this you'd be here for weeks and because i'm using the griots and this is a griots uh, orange pad i ha i use the griots correcting cream so orange with orange it's color matched that way you know what pad to use with what uh, different polish that they offer um, one of the main things with polishing that I have found and that I've learned um, is the fact that you want to have a lot of pads. Um, clean pads are happy pads, so I always have extra pads ready. That way I can switch out um, and I don't have to sit there and clean it and dry it and all that. I just have other ones ready to go. That way I can move on and then wash the pads later on when I get home. Um, and then... I like using this rag here. It's, uh, I just found out about these guys not too long ago and this is the first time I use them. Uh, it's called the Rag Company and they make these, pat these uh, rags here for wiping away the polish. And I'll tell you what, I've used a lot of different rags before. Um, this is an awesome rag. It really, really wipes away the polish. Very nice, very quickly. Um, it has a lot of fibers in it, so that's what helps in that process so this is the rag i use another thing that i have is my utility belt so this belt right here i can put my rag in there i can put my product in there 
and that way I don't have to have a rolly cart because you know part of what I do is I go to, to people's hangars obviously aircraft owners you know 90% of the time they have their own hangar um, so I can't have them come to me so I go to them and you know having to carry so much equipment and, and, all, and all kinds of stuff a cart uh, it's not feasible for me so having this belt is actually really really nice this one here uh, it's called the belt I got it at Auto Geek as well just like I said earlier a lot of the stuff I buy is from them so we're gonna go ahead and start on the polish uh, we're gonna do a one-step polish on all of the paint and then we'll move on to the next step after that All right, so here we have it. We are finished ceramic coating this RV6 kit plane. And the owner was here. He's very, very happy with it. Just the difference in how slick the surface is now that it's been coated is just fantastic. So, this airplane was pretty fun to do. It's very small, very manageable airplane. The paint, considering it was original paint, 20 plus years old, shined up really, really well. I was very, very surprised, very happy with the way it polished up. So the product that I used to coat this one is Crystal Serum Light by G-Technic. So, I'm a G-Technic accredited, see my badge there. And so that's why I use this product, but it's really because it's the best product, in my opinion, the best coating, the technology that's gone into it. It's just amazing. And I always like to do the water test when I finish with a coating. It's just so cool to see the way the water rolls off. So. Let's try it right over here and see how it does. Oh my goodness. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> the way that water rolls off of there is just, it's not even fair. Let's try it on this, on the wing here. Wow. One of the cool things is I had to set my phone on the wing that was coated and it slid right off and then I went over to the other side and set it on there and it stuck. So on this one I actually also did his uh, windshield. I went ahead and polished it. It had some scratches and just some wear over time and I gave it a nice polish so he can see real nice and I threw some coating on there for him too just for fun and he's gonna realize <laughs> when he's flying along, he's gonna notice how the, if he goes through a little rain cloud or something, it's gonna be exciting for him to see that water just roll off of there. I mean, this airplane's not going up, you know, 30,000 feet or anything. So he's definitely gonna be in weather uh, if he happens to be in weather. So there it is, RV6, home built, do some more water tests. I just can't get enough of doing this. I can do that all day. It's actually quite soothing. It's like therapeutic. Well, sorry guys. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe. I'm posting videos all the time now. Got lots of jobs booked in the coming months. So there's gonna be more content and I'll look for ways to 
get more creative with the videos and put more informative, helpful tips just for, you know, do it yourself washing and things like that. So if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please subscribe. And if you want to check out some of my other work, you can see it on my YouTube channel or you can go to prestigeaircraftceramic.com and you can reach out to me if you have a question regarding detailing or aircraft coding. I am an AMP certified mechanic, so I work on airplanes for a living part time when I'm not doing coding. So we would know we know what we're up to, we know what we're doing when it comes to aircraft. Look at that. Outrageous. All right. Well, thank you very much. This is Charles Alvarez, Prestige Detail and Ceramic. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.